What's up, everybody? Sackmaster here with SackmasterMusic.com. In this video today, I'm going to be unboxing this new Warm Audio 87R2 mic. This is just out. It is the next uh, generation of the Neumann U87 clone. Um, just, I really do like the warm product so far. I did have a WA76, which was really good. I almost thought it was just as good or even better than the original. I traded that for a, uh, that and a GA Pre-73 for a, uh, Chameleon Labs SSL bus compressor. So I don't have the 1176 anymore, but I do plan on picking up another one. I also do have a WA two-A, which is very good as well. Not as good as the original, but still very good. And very good for the price. So I do like Warm's products. I haven't tried their mics yet, so hopefully this is nice. To be honest, I don't even need this mic. I just picked this up at Guitar Center because I don't want my uh, credit card to close with them. I have a pretty good limit with them, and I want to keep my uh, credit, you know, balance high so I just bought this to keep that card open to be honest you know I've had some TLMs in the past I've had some other mics um, but really I pretty much just use a Shure SM7B I'm doing mainly hip-hop vocals and the Shure SM7B has never failed me like I said I've had some Neumanns I've had some blues and I've really only had them because you know clients or rappers or singers for some reason really want to you know rap on these blues and these annoyments but in my personal opinion the sure sm7b is the best mic by far especially because you know it's not a, a condenser so you could record in any really environment with the sm7b and not get too much background noise but um i'll do a shootout between this and the sm7b i'm sure that uh this one is going to be a little bit more mid high range detail but here we go and before I open this, a lot of people are saying the rumor is, you know, why did they make a R2, WA7 R2? Again, this is the Neumann U87 clone. Uh, it is supposed to have some better components inside circuitry, transformers, whatever you want to call it. It is supposed to have better components than the original WA87, but the rumor is, is that uh, warm audio was getting a bunch of cease and desist letters from Neumann so in response to that they created the WA87R2 and as you can see this one has a curved head basket instead of a flat head basket I guess the first generation looked too much like the U87 so this was their response to probably make the same exact mic but just put on a modified head basket so it will not look like the original so here we go, we're gonna unbox this. Nice boxing. We got all the manuals, things like that. And here we go with the head basket. Not the head basket, the uh, shock mount, which looks very stable, looks very well made. And of course we have another uh, microphone mount right here. So I'm gonna pull out the box and this is a very nice box, and this feels heavy, which is usually good. So let's open it up, a nice wooden box with a nice finish. And here we go with the mic, and wow, just holding this, I can tell you, this is the heaviest mic that I've ever bought in my life, much heavier than any other mic that I've bought. So that means it's probably high quality inside. We've got the three polar patterns. We've got the high pass filter and the uh, 10 dB of attenuation. Um, but so far, it looks, it seems very solid. It seems very heavy. I'm sure the components uh, are pretty good in this. So I'm excited about this. I'm going to bring this over to my boy Carlos, Jump House Studios uh, Studio. And we can do a few uh, shootouts. We've got some 414s over there, so, uh, so a few Neumanns. We have some SM7Bs. We have a bunch of other good mics. So we will shoot this out and see how it sounds. I'm excited about it. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's good enough to keep in the arsenal. But I have a feeling I'm still going to like the Shure SM7B better than this. Uh, to me, that mic is the best mic. Hands down. And it's only like $400.
So that is it. That's for everybody that wanted to see this. We unboxed it. It looks like a very nice product. All of the other warm audio products I've had in the past, I have really been impressed by. Especially the 11, the WA76, in my opinion, is just as good or better than the, uh, the original 1176. But okay, at least the universal audio one. So that's the video for today. Please hit like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see y'all next time.